So, ladies and gentlemen, let's start uh, right away. And this uh, second uh, session on health is uh, uh, entitled Global Governance and, and Public Health. Um, and let me just say as an introduction that issues of governance of health and governance for health have become uh, particularly prominent on the international agenda with the COVID pandemic and not least, of course, uh, because of the increasing geopolitical dimension of global health. New challenges have emerged around vaccine nationalism, vaccine and mask diplomacy, access to supply chains and intellectual property waivers. And as the pandemic progressed, health moved from being a sort of a soft power agenda to becoming a critical economic and security issue and took up large parts of the deliberations of regional summits like the European Council, the G20, the G7, the World Trade Organization. No meeting of G7, G20 or European Council in the last two years wasn't including or having as a dominant component uh, the issue of health. The uh, independent panel on pandemic preparedness and response of which both Anders Nordström and myself were, were part in our report in May 2021, we had come up with a number of recommendations and within in the, those recommendations, one was about governance and suggesting that in order to, for the world to be better prepared for the future, we need to elevate the uh, level of leadership to prepare and respond to global health threats. And one of the suggestions that the panel uh, put forward was the establishment of what we call a Global Health Threats Council, <clears throat> if you wish, some sort like a, a Security Council uh, for, uh, for health threats, uh, something similar to what had been negotiated uh, on, uh, in the nu nuclear field after the Chernobyl uh, catastrophe to ensure accountable and multi-sectoral action in the future. We also discussed the, to strengthen and uh, WHO in its independency and capacity to uh, react to, to an emergency. Several of the recommendations of this panel were overlapping with recommendations from other groups, such as the uh, G20 high-level group on pandemic finance and the so-called Monti uh, Commission. Uh, in, in Europe. So where are we today uh, with these uh, discussions and uh, negotiations? Well, first, negotiations have now started in Geneva at multilateral level on revising the so-called international healthcare health regulations and on a new pandemic, a new binding pandemic treaty uh, following a resolution of the World Health Assembly in November last year. Second, the US, together with a number of other countries and the World Bank, have called on the establishment and have actually launched a new pandemic financing facility uh, on the way for which there are pros and cons. Maybe we'll uh, discuss that later. And third, uh, the General Assembly of the U UN has called on a special session of the UN General Assembly on Pandemic Preparedness and Response, which will be held in 2023. And if you remember, it was the uh, first uh, special session, high-level session of the UN General Assembly in 2001 on HIV AIDS that really was the turning point mobilizing the world against the AIDS pandemic and also a special session of the UN General Assembly on Ebola in 2014 that brought the issue at the highest level of 
public and political awareness. So we're looking forward to very much to the uh, ongoing negotiations now already of a political resolution at that special session of the UN. But also, as we work now at global level, um, and most importantly, uh, I believe, structural, institutional, and political changes are occurring at regional level. Um, and uh, as we heard from Juliette during the, the pandemic, the African Union, uh, behind, uh, united somehow behind President Ramaphosa and uh, a continental plan to, uh, to procure vaccines and pandemic goods, uh, we saw the emergence of a remarkable African CDC that took leadership at both continental and, and global levels, and the EU uh, created an African regulatory agency for medicines on the model of the FDA or the EMA. So uh, let us now discuss uh, these issues at global and regional level, and we have a, a great panel today with uh, Anders uh, Nordström, Ambassador for Global Health from Sweden, uh, who may also maybe say a word about the uh, forthcoming Swedish presidency of the, of the Union. Uh, Dr. Aruka Sakamoto, uh, Senior Fellow at the National Graduate Institute for Policy Studies in Tokyo, who is online. Uh, good morning, uh, Aruka, and thank you for being again with us. Dr. Farida al Hosseini, who is the spokesperson on health from UAE. Uh, Lionel Zinsu, uh, co-chair of Southbridge, chair of Terra Nova and former prime minister of uh, Benin. And finally, uh, Jacques Bio, former president of Ecole Polytechnique in France, whom uh, I have asked somehow to provide a, a perspective from I call him an informed outsider at the, at the end of our discussion. 